Hey kids, quick PowerPoint here on the latitude, longitude, uh, and the rotation and revolution on the Earth, just to make sure we understand it. It's a very fast PowerPoint. It's a very fast lecture, so we're going to go through this very quickly because I have another one I'm fixing to do over uh, weather and climate. Now, we've talked about latitude, longitude extensively the last few days when you're answering your uh, stamp sheet. Latitude, remember, lat is flat. Lines are run parallel to the equator, okay, to the south and to the north. It divides. Uh, the equator divides it into northern and southern hemisphere. So make sure you understand that latitude is flat, okay, and then longitude is up and down or vertical. And it, all those lines go through the poles. So make sure you understand that. So prime meridian cuts uh, longitude in half, makes the Earth in the eastern and western hemispheres. The equator cuts it in half, makes it in the southern and northern hemispheres. And again, here's another grid uh, for latitude longitude. <clears throat> Lines you, you'll need to know, uh, Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, those are things you'll hear about uh, as we go through here. Uh, so make sure you understand that. Tro Tropic of Cancer is 23.5 north, Tropic of, Cap Tropic of Capricorn is 23.5 south. The Earth axis, uh, right, we can't see the bottom. Let's see if we move this down a little bit. There we go. The equinox marks the beginning of spring and the fall. Um, both of those days have the equal amount of day and night. All right, that's why it's called equinox because of equal. The rays are directly over the equator. Spring and fall, those do those couple days uh, have the same amount of daylight and no light. I guess equal equinox. It goes together. Here we are on the till on his axis. Sun's rays when they come directly down over the Capricorn or, or uh, Cancer. Okay, here's Cancer, here's Capricorn, Capricorn. That indicates to us summer solstice or winter solstice. And that's uh, the beginnings of summer and winter. Okay. Now, one thing that sometimes we get confused on, uh, let's move this box again. Rotation of the Earth is the actual spin of it. It's a 24-hour period. So our day and nights, the way we see them every day, obviously, it's the ro that's because of the rotation of the Earth spinning around on its axis. That's rotation. Okay, that's a 24-hour period. It takes it 365 days to go all the way around the sun. So while we're rotating around the sun, which is a year, one full year, we are rotating all the time. So it's a big rotation all the time. All the way around. Okay, rotation is how the Earth moves, giving us days and nights. Revolution is how we orbit all the way around the Sun. So make sure you understand that. That can be confusing sometimes, being that they both start with the R. So rotation is a 24 hour period, revolution, one year period. That's stuff that we went over before. Over that, we went over that, that, that. And that's it. Quick little PowerPoint right there. Uh, let's have a good week this week, all right? See you guys.